What's up YouTube? How's it going everybody? If you watched our last video, you know we're going to be doing suspension today. We're going to be installing a set of these plus two Alba extended A-arms on our 2019 Yamaha Raptor 700. In addition to the plus two extended A-arms from Alba, we're also going to be installing a set of these Fox Float 3s. These are some really nice shocks. I am so excited to install these. The Alba Plus 2s coupled with the Fox Float 3s should be a great combination. I cannot wait to get these things installed on this four-wheeler and go for a ride out there. If you guys watched our last video, you know we upgraded the exhaust on this Yamaha Raptor 700. We got the full exhaust and fuel optimizer installed. Now we're ready to set up our suspension so we can get a nice smooth ride in addition to all that extra power.
All right, so here's a comparison of the stock 2019 Yamaha Raptor 700 base model shock that comes off the front of the Yamaha Raptor 700. Uh, and this is the Fox Float 3 Evo. And uh, you can see that it has quite a bit more uh, going on here. It's got a main reservoir up here and then the Evo reservoir right here. Evo chamber, 300 PSI max. So this can take up to 300 PSI, quite a bit. And then the main chamber uh, up here, this is the main chamber, 150 PSI max. So uh, for the little bit of studying I've done, a little bit of reading I've done about these, uh, the way that they work basically is that this is your main chamber and when you hit the ground, this is what takes up the initial shock, uh, the initial force. And then once you get past that, it bottoms out into the higher pressure evil chamber. So this is the evil chamber. This is the main chamber up here. So you basically adjust this shock. Uh, there's some there's some more settings up here uh, for the high speed, low speed uh, stiffness. So there's a, a couple of settings there. But as far as setting uh, your overall height and I believe just your overall ride. Uh, for aggressive versus like a softer type of ride. Uh, this is your primary setting and then this would be like your secondary setting once this bottoms out, once the main one bottoms out, uh, then you hit the evil. So uh, it's basically almost a limitless amount of adjustments uh, based on what you put in this, how much pressure you put in this, and how you have these adjusted up here. So uh, four different uh, variables there to consider, um, similar to a sprung shock that had a uh, reservoir. So this doesn't even have, I mean, this is the base model. Um, it's a real stock standard KYB shock with just a spring and not a lot going on there. It's just basically, you know, one step above a pogo stick. It's got a spring and then a little bit of nitrogen gas inside to try and slow down, try and slow down the rebound as the shock goes back up. So there's really no adjustability for your weight or your riding style and the performance is pretty limited. So these come with the, the base Raptor 700. Um, if you bought an SE or an R model, uh, your Raptor probably came with some better shocks than this. So here's a look at a 2018 Yamaha Raptor 700R uh, SE model rear shock. And you can see it has the spring and then the built-in reservoir. And the front shocks would be similar to this if you bought an SE or an R model. I bought the base model because I planned on buying my Fox shocks here. So. Uh, that's the reason why I bought the base model. That's, that's the reason for purchasing the model with the base shocks. I was going to replace the arms and the shocks anyhow. So why pay more for the ones with the more expensive shocks if you're planning on replacing them? So these are the base model shocks. These are the shocks that you would get, you know, to replace them from Fox. And then these are the ones for, this is the one I bought for the rear to replace the base shock. And I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Uh, the base shock is pretty limited in the rear also on the 2019 uh, base model. So we're replacing our A50 with our 8NR. And there's no settings. 
can't move this at all.
So now that we've got the front suspension all bolted on, we're ready to move on to the rear of the ATV. Uh, this is the base model, so it came with the base model shock. It's missing the adjustable compression settings that the SE and the R models include. So I went ahead and ordered an RSE model. This is a 2018 Yamaha 700R SE model shock. You can see it does have the high and low speed compression in addition to the rebound settings on the low, so it's a fully adjustable shock. So I'm gonna run this for now. Obviously running a Fox shock in the rear would have been ideal, but this will get me by. So at least I'll have the compression adjustment settings that an R or an SE model would have. And I want to give a huge congratulations to Patrick from Florida for winning the last comment contest. He was the first person to guess correctly in our comment contest with the Alba plus two arms and Fox shocks. So congratulations Patrick from Florida. Enjoy that $100 gift card from Rocky Mountain ATV. For next week's contest I want you guys to tell me what are we going to be installing last. The last mod before we take this thing out on the trails. I'm going to give you guys a little hint on this one. What would be the best thing that we could put on here to give us better control of this quad now that we have new shocks and new suspension? Now that we have new A-arms and the new shocks, full new suspension, what would be the last thing you would install to give you better control over this ATV? Leave your guess in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. The winner this time is going to get a $50 gift card, Rocky Mountain ATV. First person to guess correctly with the last mod we're going to put on this before we take it out on the trails. All right, so as always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. 
Tell me what you think of the Alba Plus 2 arms coupled with the Fox Float shocks. Would you guys have gone a different route? Do you like what you see? Let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for watching Trail Blogger. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell if you want to be notified instantly of new Trail Blogger videos. Have a good one everybody. I'll see you next time.